I'm in Zimbabwe, tracking a giant black maned lion that I believe could be a descendant of the extinct Cape lion. The crew and I have come across a huge pride of lioness who are moving like they're mounting an attack. Now almost completely surrounded by lions. We're lucky that they let us retreat, but it's another reminder of how vulnerable we are out here on foot. We need a new direction, and without any other tracks to follow, I'm hiking up this mountain to get a view of the entire conservancy. As you come up here, you realize just how massive and expansive the bush in this part of the world is. There is so much ground to cover to try and find one animal. But the view also reveals clues, and from here, it's easy to see what a giant lion that once took down elephants might be looking to feed on. I can see those amazing granite outcroppings to the southeast. And my thought is that springs will be creating still water pools for massive herds of buffalo. Buffalo are going to be the perfect prey source for such a big black man lion. So that's where we're heading next. Looks like there could be a kill and the vultures are still circling, which means the predator may still be feeding. Before we approach through this thick bush on foot, I think we should put the drone up there and see if maybe there's lions there. Good. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of birds on the ground right over there. Look at that, that could definitely be a kill. I'm gonna hike in and see if the predator that made this kill is still around. There's definitely a dead animal there. There's no other reason all those white back vultures would be congregated. Here it is. This is bushbuck, and this animal's likely died of starvation. But as sad as this is, it's actually really good news for us. Finding a dead bushbuck that's whole like this is as good a lion bait as you can get. So what I'm going to do, scent trail first, and then we're going to hang it up in a tree. Hopefully, that'll bring in these lions. Okay, guys, this is it. There's lion spore all over here, but what's different here is we've got this amazing big dead tree. Nice high traffic spot for our bushbuck to hang out. Time to bring the lions to us and see if we can draw out our black mane bad boy. I don't have all of the tools with me, so I'm gonna have to give Matt a quick call, see if he can run some of them in. Matt, as far as. Matt works with the lion research team here on the Conservancy. He's got experience handling and tranquilizing lions. Awesome. And I'm relying on his expertise to ensure no harm comes to this animal. You know, you could bring the blind, you could bring the trank rifle, and we'll just give it a shot before the sun goes down. Thanks, bye. Since we've been on foot, Matt's been staying close in the truck, allowing him to come in quickly with the gear once we've found a spot worth baiting. Yeah, Thanks for coming so quick, that was great, hey. I've kind of scouted around, it looks like we have a clear shot from there. Yeah, that's the perfect distance, about 25 meters. Perfect. It's all hands on deck to build this two-story blind, hang our bait, and place our trail cams. And I've got one more trick to help us attract the black maned lion. So I'm just securing the speaker. That's going to project a distressed buffalo calf call. Got the bush buck here. Looks good, huh, Matt? Yeah. So we're up in the blind now. And Matt's mixing up the serum. Matt and I are slipping into our hex suits. They block our electromagnetic signals, just like the door on a microwave oven. Apex predators have endless methods for detecting prey, so now they won't be able to see us, hear us, or sense our electrical impulses. You're styling, bud. Is it 20 meters? 20 exactly, yeah. Matt and I are calibrating the rifle to the exact distance. The safety of the animal is our priority, and that means a clear shot with the tranquilizer. 
bad at it, can start playing the call. There's nothing darker than the African bush at night. And there's an indescribable feeling reminding you that anything could be watching. Is it? They're coming. Yeah, come on. Yeah, just keep very still and very quiet. Quickly, here we go. One, two, three. What we have is a huge female. It's not our big, dark named male, but it is a fantastic thing to see. Look at the size of her, healthy too. Could easily be a mate for our big black maned male. There's another. There he is. The black mane lion John and James told me about, and he's huge. This is our chance to tranquilize him and get a DNA sample. He stopped. He can sense it. 